Here he comes. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get him, let's get him. Hey! <laughs> Hey, you know what? I've got a good coat on. <laughs> a good job. It's water. It's a waterproof. It's not water. It's full of screen wash. <laughs> Chemicals and everything. Too. Hey, at least you won't get icy. <laughs> hey, watch the cans. Hey. Get out of here, will you? <laughs> Sitting on a load of Pepsi Max. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you smell lovely. Have you filmed that? You smell Have lovely. You filmed that? Yeah, you're on there. You smell lovely. I know. Stream <laughs> watch. Is that Halfords? Oh, or a bit of being cute? Me, me coat. It's my brand new coat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a being cute or Halfords. It's lovely that. <laughs> got a real, got a real. It's, it's horrible as well. It's like alcohol. Oh, <laughs> sounds like I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's no need for any of this, you know. What's filming me? I'm half asleep anyway. <laughs> well, that's a good uh, start to the vlog. Morning, everyone. We're off for a little Starbucks. We'll dry off on the way. I'm stinking. You smell lovely. It smells nice. Jeez. I, thought I think, that's, were... think that's Halfords, isn't it? Or is that the stuff I bought last time? It's the concentrated stuff. <laughs> Because we had a cold spell, believe it or not. You won't know about that. It was freezing. <laughs> we had to have loads of screen wash in the washes. It's six degrees. It's not meant okay. to go on my brand new Marks and Spencer's coat, which I thought you'd quite like. You know, it is. He's you look, looking good and he's lost He lost a bit of weight and all I that. Right, I'm them. He finally noticed that I'd lost. No, I noticed. I just didn't say. Yeah, I just, just didn't get a chance to say. He's too busy vlogging your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. What a start of the day. An eye full of bloody screen wash. I went for an eye test yesterday. Did you? Yeah, I've got blepharitis in my right eye. What's that? It's um, all my little glands here that secrete onto you and make your tears. Yeah. They're not, they're not working properly. So this eye, I keep feeling like <laughs> there's a, a, a film on it. And nice. I thought I was getting it like a um, glaucoma or a cataract. Nice. Well, it turns out the eye's fine itself, but I've got this. So what's the solution? A uh, screen wash. <laughs> Clearly. Concentrate! <laughs> no, no, it isn't. She gave me proper eye drops and things. Oh, nice. Which you've got to put in for me later. Oh, I can't uh, wait. <laughs> It'd be like that yeah. one on right from I, uh, I Friends with feel, Rachel. It feels a little bit better already this morning. And also, she's given me this um, iPad, which you microwave. You microwave an iPad? A microwave so it doesn't iPad. blow up? It's got these the beans in <laughs> that warm to a certain temperature, and you put it on for 10 minutes and it warms the glands up so that the secretions are less mm. thick. Well, at least we won't see you crying anytime no. soon. Have I complained about my right eye with you at all? No. no. I've been complaining for a, a couple of weeks now. No, so. no you haven't, haven't moaned at all. You've been... No. Well, there you go. Screen no. washes the way forward so then, next, isn't it? Next time I come to visit you, I'll have... Because I was getting worried about it in the sunshine and everything. Oh, you'll have an eye patch like a pirate. And I'm made up that it's nothing serious, like, yeah. a, like a cataract. Well, we'll talk about your weight loss in a minute and what you've been doing. We'll talk about that in a minute when we okay. get to coffee. Yeah, all right. What, well, you having a large English tea? A large English tea. Two straws. Possibly a one straw. Bacon roll, sausage bacon roll, roll. <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> Mackey, I tell you what, I tell you what, I should treat you to one day. On. A Mackey's breakfast. You've not had one for years, have you? Oh, you love them. You should know, I don't Do love you? them. <laughs> You used to love no. the girls. Used to bring you in a sausage and egg McMuffin um, or whatever. On, on Christmas Eve, we used to go to work, and we'd only be in for two, three hours for emergencies. And one of the things we did at Christmas was one of the girls would call at Mackey's, and we'd get in a quarter nine, and we'd have a Mackey's McMuffin breakfast, whatever, with with um, the croquet potatoes. Croquet? You mean hash browns? Hash browns. Croquet. <laughs> And then, and then, at nine o'clock, ten past nine, when the first patient came in, the waiting room stunk like Mackey's. Oh, hey. <laughs> it was gross. It wasn't good at all. You should have, you should, I should take you for one at some <laughs> point. <laughs> Bring back some memories. I'm, I'm trying to be good though, aren't I, you know? The McDonald's hash browns are banging though, they well, are amazing. One of the girls, Jane, used to absolutely, she could eat them. Too. Oh yeah. yeah, I could have yeah. like ten of them yeah. in a row. Yeah. They are amazing. Yeah. But then, you know, by half ten, 
I'd feel sick. It starts repeating on you. <laughs> it starts, it's like it never, it's, <laughs> it's the breakfast that keeps giving. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Then I'd come home and, and mum would go, you greedy fat pig. <laughs> like I had it every morning. <laughs> I could one see that. Here. One <laughs> see here. Here. Oh, you! Oh, you didn't bring me one over, did you? No, I was in work. <laughs> no, working hard, working team. hard, hardly working. <laughs> right, let's Starbucks then. Oh, let's no, get not to Starbucks, Starbucks, not Mackey's. Yeah, you've got it in my head now. <laughs> Does my eye look all right? Why do you need a bit more wash? No, no. <laughs> Little tiny tube with that cost about 10 quid. Your plastic is screen washing my eye. <laughs> Here we are then, starting the day. Caramel latte, caramel shortbread, big cup of tea, and a happy dad. Not now. I walked in and the woman looked at me like an alcoholic, stinking of alcohol. And <laughs> screen washing my jacket. <laughs> hey, at least you don't need any. You won't get frozen, you won't get any frost on you, will you? Do you know what I hate? Oh. I'll have a little moment. Do you what ever? the hell is that? It's just a quick staring stick. Right, this is Starbucks now, making a fortune. Just a plastic, a wooden rod, a wooden spoon. You just you don't need a spoon, do you? You just no, mix you it up with the stick, save the it. trees and right. all that. If you've got string, you've got two pyramid tea bags to deal with, right? And you've got a pathetic little stick. Nonsense. Your nonsense. nonsense. Unbelievable. <laughs> and my jacket's drying out. <laughs> Here he goes then. Cheer me up now. Cheer you up, Scotty. Cheer me up. You know the score, guys. Where I'm going for double hit. Mm, you double straw in it. Broken it in half. Right. You know what you've got to do. Honestly, if you don't do this at Starbucks, you really are missing out. <laughs> you should be the new TV advert, oh, just you with one of them straws. If I have this in, 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 on an advert for Starbucks, not that Starbucks need to advertise. Mm. Mm. And then, now it's all soft. Oh, honestly. <laughs> Hey, what were you? What did you say you were on losing, losing the weight? What was it? A fasting diet, talking about insulin spikes and all kinds. It's a 16-hour fast diet. Right. So my last meal was six o'clock last night. Okay. Wasn't a massive meal. Just a nice, sensible meal. Ding meal, I presume. Um, it was a big potato, corned beef, whatever. <laughs> then I haven't eaten. I've only drank water till now. Right. That's 16 hours. Okay. And what's that meant to do then? It means that my body is like, it's looking for insulin, which you get if you ha when you eat it, your insulin goes through the roof. Mm -hmm. Insulin stores away carbs as fat. Right. But in reverse, no, no insulin, starvation, fasting, the body goes into your fat store. Right. Which in my case was pretty grand. Yours is like fat store, yours is a mess superstore, yours I think is like B and Q. A hundred thousand calories <laughs> around the waist. <laughs> so it goes in and it starts to break down and it's fat burning. It's fat right. burning. So fasting is proven, actually proven to work. They've done all kinds of experiments. They even experimented with, with mice and rats. Right. And they had rats and mice that they allowed to graze through the day. Could eat when and how it wanted, yeah? Yeah. And another load where they fed them and then they fasted. Fasted and then they fed them. Right. And they lived a lot longer than they were right. the grazing. So the moral of the story is... Quick grazing. Quick grazing. <laughs> and on that note, I've broken my fast. There you go. So my uh, my caramel shortbread and grande caramel latte Your double insulin double has gone through the roof. <laughs> And when it does that what as were well, you saying? You couldn't believe how I could sleep last night after a couple of tonic tea cakes. Two tonic tea cakes. Mm -hmm. Two chocolate cakes from Waterfields. No, I didn't have two. I had half of one. Really? I promise you, the other one's in the box. Really? Honestly. But why would that mean I couldn't sleep? And two sausage rolls, which are full of carbs. I didn't eat two either. I couldn't eat them all. So why because would that be? Because I slept perfectly fine. 
because your, your insulin would go kaboom. Right. Which then also puts your body on a bit of a high. Hey, you know, lovely. Your, your dopamines <laughs> and everything. Which maybe explains why you're so damn happy this morning. <laughs> so can me with scream. <laughs> He's an unbelievable guy. I, I, I mean, I love to see him coming home and everything, but you know, the things I have to put up with. I even had to buy my own tea. No, you, no, you did not. I had my card out ready to go. You stepped in with cash. Me being generous. <laughs> so don't forget, you must buy one of these. Don't do it with coffee. Right, it's got to be tea only. It's got to be tea. Oh, by the way, he's only had a double caramel latte to talk about insulin spikes. With, what was it, a shortbread, what's it? Caramel shortbread, yeah. Millionaire shortbread it was. Yeah? Yeah. Million, million, millions of calories. <laughs> it's a good job you do those mega walks to yeah, make calories. Yeah, I'd be in trouble otherwise, oh, wouldn't I? Yeah. Well, I am actually trying to be good. I've been, been good for about a week or so. Well, trust me, if you can, mind you, because you managed to not eat for 16 hours, well, of course, when you get tempted in, don't you? It's, you know what I mean? It, 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 I don't pretend. It'd be I could do it. Early. I'd like to try and do it. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing, problem is, the first thing I do in the morning is have a have a work meeting with Lisa, and, yeah, and which we have is a, a double have a, latte, whatever. Yeah, no, no, it's not a double latte. Just have a lechi lechi, but you know, it's it's an insulin spike, isn't it? Well, I must admit, if I was going for your, your work meeting at half eight. Yeah, you'd have to you'd just have water, would you? <laughs> I can't turn up with a coffee shop and a bottle oh, of water, yeah. please. I don't pretend. Look, none of it's easy to do. It does work. Yeah, so if you're looking to lose weight, he's lost quite a bit, guys. He has, to be I, fair. And added to that, I have cut right down on alcohol intake. Yeah. That, that is a must. That helps. And I had a blood test about a month ago, and my liver function has really. The, the reading for liver function, which is affected by alcohol, was way down. So that's good. A, that's a double plus. So, oh, good. Oh, good. This is the new Mick Garvey. The new Mick Garvey. <laughs> your little <laughs> slim fit under armour jumper. And... I couldn't wear this. No, you couldn't. No, <laughs> not a few weeks ago you couldn't. Not last right. time I saw you. So there you go. Oh, fasting diet. Fasting there diet. You go. So what are you going to do now after that? So not, you can't have it until tomorrow now, you've had a cup of no, tea? No, 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 I'm fine now, 10 till 6, I can eat. You can eat, and is it like eat as much well, as you want? No, you can't, you're not going to have mega insulin spikes here, am I all dead? We're <laughs> having like, a bacon you know, sandwich when we go home, will we? Right, well, and that'll be it till tea. You're gonna, Basically, yeah. You yeah. might be going to a new restaurant tonight. And apparently, there's a new one open in the gold. Right. We'll go for our tea. Italian. And pizza, that'll be good for an insulin spike, won't it? I don't even know the name of it. Um, it's, 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 it's a bit of Italian and pizzas yeah, and we're, stuff we're, in it. That'd be really good for your diet, won't it? As long as you're paying. Well, you know, can I just say, you know, aftershave smells amazing. Oh, You what? smell lovely. The jacket's over there. It reminds me of like uh, like those cold, crisp mornings with a bit of anti-free, a bit of de-icer. When you're scraping the windows. Yeah, and you're on the way to school and you put a bit of de-icer on. It gives me that sort of vibe. With Icy vibes. With your credit card. What's it called? Is it well, being too icy for men? <laughs> I'm not your Really nice by the way. Right, okay, we're back home. The air fryer's on. Yeah, the air fryer's The bacon's in the pan. What we've got here, we've got here some. That's, medall that, I don't, that's not bacon, I'm afraid. That, I don't do medallions. Oh, well, that's just, you know. What is that? No, is that the. It's this. Ah, okay, right, so, okay, so, it's right. This. No, that's fine. I thought it was that stuff. No, what, what, what? No, 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 no. Right. That's not bacon. And he wants <laughs> this rewording the worst. No, it's like gammon. Like gammon. <laughs> he man. doesn't like this bacon. What he does like is the, the cheap it's sizzling stuff, yeah. So here we have the sizzling bacon. Okay. Going well, going well. It's basically like deep fried, right, eh? That, is, no that is still raw to Andrew. Oh, big time. We've got Please. this one. This is smoky bacon. Just right. Away. Don't mind and, uh, that. Can you, if you just pull this out and you check, oh, it doesn't look good. It's doing fine. That looks it's grim. grim there. There. It looks grim. That looks grim. <laughs> I thought air fryer was supposed to be quick. Look, we're certainly well, beating each other, aren't we? Well, 
You know, Mum is gonna absolutely go off her cake when she sees how much she's getting splattered all over the look at her pan. She's gonna kill ya. It's a fat fest. <laughs> She's gonna kill you. I know, I know. You need to remove the pans. Do you know what Lydia does? Right. She says, you don't need fat in your pan if you, if you need the rind on your bacon. Because that is the fat. I just don't buy into that at no, all. No, no, and then you've got to, then you've got to mess about cutting the fat off. Sunflower oil. There you go. And yeah, you've then done a mess cutting off the fat. So... Now that is doing nice and put that in a bit of butter. So are you going to have a smoky bacon? I might have a smoke one smoky one normal. Why not? Why not? There you go. Well, cut back in after the ad break then. Yeah. See you after the ad. And any giveaway competitions going on and anything like that, you know? Any special guests coming on? Any phone-ins? I didn't write Philip Schofield, but he's busy. I'm not even going to go there. He couldn't, uh, couldn't turn off the food, you know? Right. <laughs> don't, don't. I've got a really other jokes, but I can't say them. <laughs> right, so it is a put it's update the on, the, on, the oh, air. on the air fryer. Can you see now, it's coming along very nicely. There's a little bit of fat from the rind. And it's not looking great, I must say. <laughs> Looking great. It, it, it looks far more out. attractive to me. Yeah, and you're liking the look of this, aren't you? I'm not going to look at both, really. Yeah, the, look about the, the, look the, the sizzling makes a difference. I mean, the amount of that's getting splashed everywhere, yeah, just, you're going to get absolutely rinsed in the comments right, here. Don't let Mum watch this vlog. All right? You are going to be lynched tomorrow <laughs> when Mum comes back. No, I've got a clean up job later. I've got a clean up. You've got gallons of degrease around you. Oh, here we go, look. Still at bang. Burn. It's not burnt on though, is it? It's greased on. I need degreaser. Still at bang. Still bang. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Whoever knew wow. cooking bacon could be such it's, a, it's, it's a cook, cooking show. You're right. How many times in Tenerife have we been out and you want a bacon sandwich, bacon back, whatever, and it's not right, is it? No. no. Got to be well there done. Go. Bacon's got to be well done. It's not going to have all the fat on. Yeah. Look at that. They're, Look looking, at they're that. looking good, then. They are looking good, aren't they? And even the smoky ones there, just sizzling away. You do know, though, whatever it's bacon you buy these days. OMG. You are in for it. And the subscribers can confirm this. The bacon these days is pumped full of water. So the first thing that happens when you put it in, but I do think that helps with the sizzling as oh, the nice. water comes out. But look at this here, this is, this is just, you know, I'd get a job in Tenerife. You know, as one of those microwave uh, technicians at <laughs> the back of the cafes, come and sell chefs. <laughs> It's looking nice and crispy, you're getting there. You're getting there, yeah, it's, yeah, now, come on. Is this it now? Is this it? And it is looking nice, a little bit, just that one's ready, that one. That, that one's a little bit more, you know what I mean? But better just take that off there so it doesn't cook anymore. That's done as well, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just this one here, just, you know? Whoa. Oh, yeah, looking good, man. <laughs> but I bet they're all watching this going, just eat that with a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah. A bacon sandwich. A Garvey bacon sandwich. Come on, guys. Cafe Garvey's. Yeah. <laughs> As is an air fryer, what I've noticed, though, is the edges are getting well cooked, but the yeah, middles aren't, though, are they? Well, they can't see past your hand. <laughs> yeah, it's not it looking okay. great, is it? Yeah, well, you know. Tell me what looks better in the comments and what was quicker and all. Okay, guys, comments down below. Which 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 would you have? That it's done already. But Can't wait another 20 or 12 minutes for that thing. But I'm not going to get me throat cut am I? because I haven't made a mess. Look at the fat. Yeah, but sometimes you just gotta go with it, you know. All right, here we go. Look at yeah. this. That oh, one, that's gonna melt that's all cool. the layer pack butter. That now. Look, look at that. Just look at this. Go with this. Oh, I must admit, 
it is very appetizing. Very good. Right, here he is with his air fat one. <laughs> you are, oh, you know, you what? distracted me making your back. Now look at mine. <laughs> it looks so, no, to be fair, that looks nice. It is crispy and well done. That's how I'd have it. Really? But it doesn't look as appetising as that, does no, it? No, I must admit. Oh, messed up. Look, I'm nearly setting the fat on fire. You're, oh, you're, oh, you've turned into a bag of spanners now, haven't you? <laughs> that doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look as appetising, does it? No, I must admit that yours does look... I mean, I would order that in Tenerife, for sure. Uh, I'll dig into your dry air fryer bacon. It is, it is a bit. I tell you what, free. <laughs> <laughs> Taste free and all. Oh. <laughs> but I haven't made a mess of the air fryer, have I? So, you know... But well, yeah, you're still going to clean the pan. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. You've got to clean this out. <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> it looks like it's been under the heat lamp on an all-you-can-eat buffet for oh, hours. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not great, is it? Okay, guys, look. I... Uh, Dig in. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're getting on over there. It's okay, you know. I did overdo it. <laughs> Isn't it easier to sit in a cafe and order it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay everyone, welcome to uh, Liverpool City Centre then. Fast forward half an hour or so. We've uh, driven down, just parked in the underground near the Liver buildings. And what are we doing, Dad, in the sunshine? Well, can I sing? Will I get a strike? No, you'll be all right. We're going to ferry across the Mersey <laughs> to this land, the place I love, and here I'll stay. So we're going to be jumping on <laughs> the ferry across the Mersey. We're doing a little tour one, which is about 50 minutes. Yep. Um, and I'll give you a little bit more info about that when we get there. Dad gets discount because he's old. <laughs> but the weather is gorgeous. Look at the sunglasses. Sunglasses. It's nice. It's cold. It's like six degrees. Yeah, but lovely. perfect day for a bit of a ferry across I, the Mersey. I, I think you've got to show them the old famous, world famous. But well, we're going to get nice views of all the buildings from the boats as well, aren't we? Get, probably get loads of info on this as well. It's a little bit of a touristy thing to do, but nice thing. I've never done it. Guess what? Never done it in my life. I, I, the last time I did the ferry across the Mersey, I was a kid. All oh, right, well, this would be good then. It's like something brand new, completely new to do. Right, I think we're good to cross, are we? There we go. So, yeah, ferry across the Mersey it is. Then I might have a little mooch in the, uh, in the shops afterwards. But, yeah, we've got stunning weather. Nice views already. Do you know where we're going? It's got to be somewhere over there, hasn't it? We'll find it. We're guessing. So yeah, you can do the ferry across the Mersey, which is 10 minutes, or you can do a bit of a tourist, a uh, bit of a tall one. We're going to do the tall one with a little bit more info. 10 minutes is a bit quick. Do you think, do you think on this cruise we might see Liverpool's now fourth race? Uh, you might very well might do. You might well see the fourth race here, guys. The Everton Stadium going up very nicely. <laughs> Very nicely indeed. So just to note, if you are looking for parking here to do the little ferry across the Mersey, you have got uh, the Crown Plaza do it up, up to two hours, six quid, four hours, 12 quid, which is right on its doorstep for where you get on. So handy to know, right outside the Liver building as well. And here's our cruise terminal. Yeah, we were just discussing that, the cruise terminal here, what a fantastic place to dock on a cruise because you get off and you're right in the middle of everything. There's no need to get buses and trains and coaches to pick you up to take you to the main attractions. It's all here, right in front of you, as soon as you get off the ship. So it makes a massive difference. We've done a cruise recently around the Canaries. A lot of the stops, you're miles away from the main bit you want to see. You get off here and you can literally just walk straight to the middle of the action. Liverpool 1 is what? Liverpool 1's there, the museum's right there, the Liver buildings are here, the ferry across the Mersey's right here. It's quite funny, friends of mine at the club, they went on a cruise round the British Isles right. from Southampton, so they had to go to Southampton. Yeah. yeah. And one of the stop offs was Liverpool. <laughs> All the way down to come back again. Yeah, they came, they, one of the stop offs was Liverpool and they did Dublin and somewhere in Scotland. But they said, yeah, that's just the way it worked. 
but like they think they're off the ship and like you said they just walk into town yeah. even though they live here it's a doddle it's absolutely it for a cruise stop yeah, if anyone's done cruises you'll know what some of the stops exactly. are like what's that one the one where you stop and you go to um the leaning tower of pisa but it's like an hour oh. and a half train ride to get right. there and, and everything you stop off at the when you stop off to go to uh, pisa you stop at livorno yeah and it's like a right track here you get off Oof. everything right in front of you but, but even to go to rome yeah we have to get we, we, we had a private train didn't we yeah we, yeah we got off the ship we booked the private train which and then rome was a good 40 minutes on this train yeah now this is a perfect place to stop the ship would be right here so there you go if you've got liverpool coming up on a cruise stop you can look forward to that for now let's go and buy our tickets for our little ferry then here's our three graces looks gorgeous with the blue skies stunning day Absolutely. stunning and one of our favorite restaurants andrew yeah matu right there you can see in the middle of the screen you've got a lovely rooftop there where you can have a little drink Often go in there. there yeah. The Bag thing to do. Few Coronas up there. Lovely views. Can't beat it. So this is what we're going on here. Yeah, the little river cruise there. So I think you go in and then you get it just over there. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. There you can see it going over there. It's all painted up. You can uh, easily jump on one of the open top buses around here as well. So there you go, we're going on the River Explorer cruise. You can find this all, all this info online. This, so we're aiming for the 1 p.m., but they've got them every hour. We're going on a cruise on the river. We're not getting off on a cruise to go on one of them. I thought we were doing that, <laughs> getting off. Oh, see, look, you get off, and there's, look, City Sights Liverpool. <laughs> Everything is right on hand as soon as you get off. We have no need to do that. That's mainly for the, the, the tourists, you know? Still, as a cruise stop, if I was doing a cruise, it'd be right up there. Do, do, do you know what the major attraction there is? Going out to Paul McCartney's home. Oh yeah, all that, speak. yeah. Penny and Lane and, and the, all the that. Japanese, love it. Yeah. Armed with their cameras and everything, they absolutely love the Beatles part of the tour. And did you see as well, we were voted the eighth best city? in europe yeah absolutely. right up there places to come and visit so uh, get yourself down right where do we buy the tickets in here then what's number one naples <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even gonna go there it's closed i think oh we have to go around that way right so you uh, you can purchase tickets online as well you can proceed directly to the boarding point scan your qr but we haven't bought them online we're gonna be old school and buy them in here Okay, so we've ended up in the little gift shop. We bought our tickets, £22.50 for two of us. Job done. Dad got a little bit of discount. Get yourself a magnet, Dad. Look at that. Great. Get yourself a cheeky magnet. We've got cookies. Yeah, you can have chocolate. Look at that. Yeah, you might have to have come in and buy uh, my oh, good friend. I love Paul. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That would be perfect for Dave. Dad's friend Dave's a oh, fan. Massive. Absolutely Paul massive. McCartney fan. Massive. I've got to be careful with the music in here. Oh, yeah, got to be careful. But yeah, there's loads of different merch going on in here. Oh, it's all good stuff as well. It's all kinds going on. All kinds. What are these? The old salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. yeah. Some nice mugs, and with a mug. And, and, and at this point, we will with music like that get struck. Yes, <laughs> yes. Someone sent me on this. Yes. <laughs> So we just got the obligatory picture outside the statue there, speaking to a lovely lady from Sheffield, here for the day, loving life. It's, uh, it is a gorgeous day out here today. She says she comes regularly to the city, just loves visiting yeah. Liverpool. She says, best city, best city going. If you do fancy a little city break, there you go. definitely worth looking into. There's so much going on. She just, she said, she's got everything. She had one, one of the, uh, she said in a very shallow kind of way, one of the things you've got that I love is John Lewis because they've not got one anymore. A lot of the John Lewis's are closing, aren't they? We've got a very good one here. Right. Anyone on my side here? That reminds me of the film Alien. Alien? Yeah. People will tell you why. There's a, it's a, there's a weird thing on Alien. I tell you. Nice. It just reminds me of it. Okay. See if people comment. Let me know in the comments something from the Alien film going on. 
be here. Look how many people are just out and about here. Look, we're going to be on TV here, Dad. Look. Oh, 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 oh. They, they knew I was they, coming. They, they, they absolutely knew we were coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Look at that for a view. You can see why they're filming, can't you? Stunning. Absolutely. Stunning. Not to mention these modern buildings, actually. Very oh, yeah, nice. the museum is in. Well, it's been here a long time. It's still a modern building, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they are nice. I've never been in that museum. No, should do. That's got the floor to do with all the slavery. Yeah. Which I'd like to see. No, that's the, uh, there you go, there's the Radio City Tower as well. Oh, stunning, we picked a good day for this. Didn't we just? So you've also got here some of the Super Lamb Bananas. Now these stem back to 2008. You can actually see there the 08. Liverpool capital of culture. There were these all over the city. You could hunt them down with a map, right. tick them off. Right. Fun fact, I did mention it before. We have, I have been offered to buy you one have, of these you know, before. I was about to say, you were offered I was, to purchase one yeah, I was, for our garden. I was very tempted, but it didn't quite come off in the end. <laughs> If it was, I think if I was living here, I would have done it. It needed loads of work, but you could do whatever you wanted to it. So these do sometimes come up for sale. Someone, somebody will say, why the hell would you want that in your garden? But it's something different. It's a bit of Liverpool history as well, I suppose. It marked us out so distinctly. It was weird lamb banana. Yeah, but, but people were coming and hunting them down, though. People were coming and... when yeah. we were the city of culture, it was an amazing year. Yeah. You know, it was, shall I say, like when we did the uh, Eurovision Song Contest. When we do it, we do it right. Yeah. No, it was got people coming and hunting it down, hunting them all down on the map. There was one big, massive one you could go and see That's as right. well. That's right. And they all had different designs on and stuff. Yeah. So people have bought them and then obviously changed the colours. And I was going to wrap it, I think, was what I was going to... You could get it wrapped, which would be even better than pink, Nick. You could get it wrapped? Yeah, you know, like the way they wrap cars. Yeah. You could get it wrapped, someone would wrap it, and you could get a different design on it, get whatever you wanted on it, and get it wrapped, it would last longer than the paint, was the, was the theory. Now here, now this is an interesting one. Echo and the Bunnymen. Right. Any Echo and the Bunnymen fans? Okay. And the lightning seeds. Yeah, anyone remember these? Let us know in the old comments. Flock of Seagulls. What else have we got? China crisis. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is no Frankie goes to Hollywood. No, true. There you go. Someone Dad went to school with. Another fun oh, fact of the day. We're going into it here, aren't we? Is, is, is that like I mentioned those troll cars? <laughs> <laughs> Blooming troll cars. You on that cruise? Now we don't need to show them too much of the waterfront yet because we're going to be on the. Yeah, though they're just showing here the ferries coming in. So that's our little ferry coming in. I think that's going to give us a bit of a tour. Well, yeah, we will catch you once we get on the ferry. It's just nice to have a little wander around here. And then you can ca obviously carry on in then to the Albert Dock. You've got the wheel. Yeah. You've got uh, the M&S Arenas literally just there as well, where they do all the concerts. That's where we saw Elton John last year. You literally just walk straight in. It's like no brainer. So yeah, that's all the old historic docks and where they used to film this morning. Was it the small ICV? It was this morning, this wasn't it? Morning, the very original ones with uh, Richard and Judy, if you remember, guys. Yeah. Then there's but the one, isn't there? The one where Alison Hammond knocks the fella in the water in that no, one in no, here no, as well. No, that was here. Yeah. That was here. Fred the Weatherman. Yeah. He used to stand on a map. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he fell in. Famously <laughs> oh, fell in. Oh, that'd be freezing yeah. in there. No, he, he got his just desserts, really, because we all Fred the Weatherman was a bit of a strange guy. <laughs> we won't go right, into we won't that. Go into that. The so it does look a little bit murky in there. It does. It looks worse than it is, isn't it? I think it's just a lot of the sand and silt well, get washed up. It doesn't smell or anything like that. It's just like sand and silt. You can catch fish in here now. Going back when I was a kid, you literally no. got, uh, it was cold for everything. Well, don't forget in lockdown we had dolphins you floating know, through here and everything, didn't we? You can now. Whether you would eat them or not. Is another question. Is another question but I think it looks a lot worse than it is. It does look like dirty, but it's just sand and silt, yeah. and well, there's no trash in there, is there? Well, the, the fact that there's actually life in there now, yeah, which there never was in the 60s. The well, I remember, 60s. I remember in lockdown, people were taking pictures of dolphins, wasn't the seals knocking around in yeah, here as well, kinds. and yeah, all kinds, yeah, all kinds. 
Right, okay, let's uh, make our way back to the uh, terminal building and oh, oh, nearly. <laughs> That was a that was nearly a Oh that was original dock that. It was landed beside the uh round one the dock. Oh well I'm hobbling now, I ain't striding. Oh it could have sort of half kicked it. Could have been a full boot that. I saved you there. Oh ow! Oh that did hurt that right on top of the foot. One of them, shake it off, carry on. Yeah, till tomorrow morning. That would have been, I would have been rolling round there if I was on the football pitch. Your foot would be throbbing tomorrow. It's blind cobbler's thumb. Ow. <laughs> I did hate that. What was I saying before that? Don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know. I digress. Right, I'll catch you in the building. My foot strapped up. <laughs> Okay, here we go then. Scan on. Sorted. Thank you. And away we go. <laughs> you ready for this? Hey, it's a bigger ferry than I thought, you know, you sit down, everything. There was a little cafe back there where you could get a takeaway coffee and stuff. We're going to get one afterwards, but you could uh, sit and have a little coffee or take one away. I don't like getting coffee, yeah. Caramel latte. Chili. Yeah, just a bit. I'm feeling that breeze. Okay, on we go then. Right, boat on. Here we go. Oh. Boat on. At least you can, you can sit inside and everything on here. Ooh. It's a wee bit more shaky than I thought it was going to be going upstairs, downstairs. Shall we, shall we? Hey, there's a little bar on board and all. You can get bevied. Where are you thinking then? In, out, up, down. Let's go up. Right, okay. Stride on. Did you bring your seasickness tablets? Because it's wobbling all over the show already. <laughs> really wobbly. Just a bit. So this is the upper deck. You can come and sit and have a little chill. I might get it, but I think we're going to need a hot chocolate, I think, you know. I've <laughs> got 50 minutes on this. <laughs> if you think about it, Dad, 50 minutes is uh, longer than the ferry across from Los Cristianos to La Gomera. You can't be as choppy as that. Hey, look, look at the horizon, bouncing up and down. I was going to stare at the liver bird. Right, what was your fun fact of the liver building? Fun fact of the liver building? Yeah, oh yeah, I fact. think I mentioned it. The clock face, Yeah. apparently, is the biggest clock face in the UK. It's bigger than Big Ben even. Bigger than Big bigger Ben? Than Big Ben. The clock face. Nice. The fact that it doesn't tell the time properly is a Yeah, I don't matter. know what's going on with our old day. Better get fixing that. One yeah. says it's quarter past five and the other says oh, it's yeah, twenty I'm, past I'm twelve. Rock, I'm rocking here. <laughs> yeah. I really yeah, it fits the, the fits the theme of the Beatles, doesn't it? Oh, hey, it be a river hey. It's a river cruise, isn't it? <laughs> it's meant to be. <laughs> it is a wee bit up and down here, isn't it? Look. Oh, hey, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job you never had the coffee before, isn't it? No, I had that bacon out the flipping air fryer, didn't I? <laughs> oh, boy. Whose idea was this? I think it was mine, wasn't it? <laughs> no, I'll be fine. I think once it gets to the, the, the dock, doesn't help, does it? It can't. It must be, mustn't it? Well, at least there's some spaces inside. You can get out the wind and we can get a hot chocolate and stuff. And Well, I could fancy a hot chocolate, I must admit. Something warm, yeah. My well, hands are in, dropping off. In the sun. It's lovely and warm. It's the wind, the it's the breeze that really is like wind chill. <laughs> Dad does not normally do boats. If you're new to the channel, Dad's not a big boat, boat kind of guy, are you? I, I have said several times, no more boat trips. But I sort of didn't count this one in. <laughs> yeah, you don't really think of it really as a boat trip, do you? No, it's a river cruise. I reckon once it gets going, you'll be fine. You reckon? I hope. <laughs> It ain't the smooth. <laughs> it is a little bit rocky. It's more surprisingly rocky than I thought. It is all painted up. It's very old school on here, isn't it? Very old school. But you like you've got different bits of seating and stuff. Right, uh, who's on hot chocolate duty then in a bit? You going now or well, what? Can I just sit down and just chill for yeah, a little minute? Well, you get a look at the there. horizon going up and down, are you? It, incidentally, it might be worth pointing out there through the black windows, upper ones, is yeah. the inside of Matu. Yes, yeah, so you can actually sit inside and look at the river, or you can sit outside and, and look, look at the, the three graces. graces. So, 
Yeah, it's a pretty nice restaurant. It's don't mind going in that Asian would you? restaurant. Yeah. It's a bit of Chinese, a bit of Asian food, a bit of Thai, all that going on. Yeah, yeah. do good cocktails as well in there. Very right. nice thing to do in the summer months. Oh yeah, when it's sunny in the summer, that is the place to go, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Oof. We ask cyclists to alight after all foot passengers have left the vessel. Please be aware that at low tide, the links back passenger bridges will be at a steep angle. This time of day is called low water. You may have difficulty if you have reduced mobility, so please ask for help if required and take care. Did you have to the pick the smokiest seat on board? Like, and may be used for the purpose of promoting very environmentally the friendly. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> it stinks. During the cruise, you will see some of them. And world's most famous landmarks, there you go. There you go. including the Three Graces, Wallasey Town Hall, the Mersey Tunnel's ventilation shafts, Camelbird Shipyard, the Royal Albert Dock, and Liverpool's two magnificent cathedrals. Here you go, ferry across the Mersey. <laughs> Yeah, you're loving life, look, look at that for There's a view. There's been a ferry across the Mersey for more than 800 years, providing a link between Liverpool and the Wirral shorelines. Pier Head, our starting point, takes its name from the long stone pier, which once jutted out into the river from the shore next to the Sailor's Church, the Church of Our Lady and St Nicholas. You can see the church at the back and to the left of the Liver Building, with a golden square rigger ship on its lantern-top tower. The modern 350-metre terminal on your right is Liverpool's cruise liner berth. Cruise lines, including Cunard, Norwegian Cruise Line, Costa Cruises, Celebrity, Disney, Princess and Viking Cruises, sail into the city year-round. In all, seven miles of docks and 23 miles of quays stretch along the Liverpool foreshore. So you go, you can see the new Everton Stadium there, looks wow. fantastic for me, doesn't it? When that's complete, that's going to be amazing, isn't it? Stadium on here. On the banks of the Royal Blue Mersey. Nice. It's going to be, it really does fit in with the skyline, in my opinion. The whole waterline. It's going to be nice, really nice. When you see it from this angle, it's amazing. There's the Isle of Man uh, terminal, that's where you get the ferry across to the Isle of Man. From here, you can obviously go across to Ireland as well. Yep, yep. Many states. Many, well, I think, I'm not sure if you can go to Dublin. I'm not sure about that, actually. I think you can, you know, possibly. Uh, I think you might have to go to Hollyhead for that. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, that looks amazing, the stadium from here, looking at it from this angle. And then all these uh, old derelict buildings. All being turned into flats and hotels and stuff, aren't they? You can see in before them, they're already built. Yeah. That they're new, although they blend in. Yeah, they blend in with the background ones. I mean, yeah. those ones that are getting built just there. That's it. I've uh, always liked the look of them. They do look nice, being converted uh, yeah. into flats. What did that used to be again? Remind me. It used to be um, the building that turned into flats. It used to be a something factory, and I can't think of what it was now. I'll have to remember. It used to be a factory of some sort, didn't it? Did it? I'm think. sure they went warehouses. No, there's that one used to be something. I'm did sure they? I'll have to look it up. Right, we'll we'll check into that. that no, they that, do look nice. They, they Imagine having your flat there all done up with the ground outside. Well, that would be nice on match day, wouldn't it? Wouldn't, right? wouldn't be bad, would it? So you can see these two towers here, over there and again over there repeated, if I just zoom in, these here. Yeah. They're the vents for the Mersey Tunnel That's to let right. the air in and out. Through. There you go, going there you all go. the way through, look at that. So we're right over the Mersey Tunnel right now. So underneath us is cars around. going through. There's the they come, middle end. Come out the other end. Wow. So could air must circulate through, yeah. Wow. But yeah, look at that stadium really coming to light now. Wow. Looks amazing. You know, watch all the videos with the drones and stuff, but until you're here in person, it's going to be awesome. So it was the tobacco warehouse, Dad was right. 
27 million bricks to build that warehouse there. There you go, there's another little view of the stadium. We are heading across now though. Across to the other way. 27 million bricks. 27 million bricks. It's nuts. It's crazy. Bow your heads, ladies and gentlemen. 500 million quid. There you go. Can't wait to go and see a game in there, mate. Ah, it's going to be interesting. Have you got your, got your name down for the old season ticket? Not just a season ticket, like a box. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Sanasti box. That'd be nice. There's the train going by as well. You can see in the distance there. So there is talk of a train station being added right next to the stadium. The train you can see in the distance. That, that goes out to Mughal. Yeah, yeah, it goes all the way back to ours, yeah. But they're hoping to add a little stop here. You can actually just about see <coughs> a bit of Anfield there, oh, just yeah. in the distance. Oh, yeah. That monstrosity of a stand. Have you seen it? <laughs> Have you seen yeah, it? Yeah, you can see Anfield oh, just there dear. in the distance. How to spoil the, the, the skyline. What a monstrosity that is. Oh, he loves to wind up. He loves it. He loves it. So there you go. We're across to the river now already. Look at that. That was quick, wasn't it? So what are you thinking so far then? Got a lovely view well, behind you. Get, it's a fabulous view. What a waterfront. But well, we have come to um, sort of the other extremes of the earth. Right. Seacom. Wallasey. <laughs> Wallasey. <laughs> well, you can see a nice place to come to get views back across, back across. of the, 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 we want, the skyline. We were looking a bit of it. We're not in the best spot here. If you go over to that side, you've got some stunning views behind that. Right across, you can see the M&S Arena. Yep. Everything. The Albert Dock. The wheel. Yeah. Uh, new museum. Don't forget, we've got a second museum in, in the older buildings by the uh, the George St George's Hall. Yeah. Then you come across. You've got the three graces. Yeah. Yeah. Matu looks tiny from here now, well, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And then we're still discussing that they're going to have little ferries going between here and across to the Wirral, aren't they? Yeah, over to the game, match day. Yeah. Money to be made there. Got a lot of fans on the Wirral from it North is. Wales as well. It is going to be they good. They would come in, park here. Yeah. Shoot on the ferry over. Ferry across. Absolutely. No, Absolutely. it's definitely worth the money, I think. For, for 10 quid, 12 quid for me. Oh, for a, to, a little ride on the like river on a, on a day like this as well. We have picked a lovely yeah. day. We are going to bring, um, we're going to bring Jude. There's uh, plenty of info going on over the tannoy, but not loud enough that it's annoying. No, just like, little bits listen and if bobs. you want and tune out if you want sort of thing. Absolutely. It's not dead loud, seating's comfy. No, no it's, a, it's, it's a all very, good stuff. Very, definitely on a day like today, or in the summer. It's, it's, I think it's a must do thing, to be honest. If you're visiting Liverpool, yeah. you have to come Imagine and a summer's day like this, they had Gordon's gin and all kinds down there. A little gin and tonic sailing, sailing along the river. A little Remy. Yeah, a little cheeky <laughs> cheeky, you know, get off and you'll be... You'd be staggering more than the boat, wobbling around. And as Andrew pointed in, if you were sailing up the river on a Disney cruise or a Princess cruise and you're coming up to this waterfront. Yeah, but it's, what's it, what a stunning a, arrival. You'd yeah. want to make sure you were out, wouldn't you? Yeah, out absolutely. on deck, watching coming in. Absolutely. And then, step off and you're there. Yeah, you're into the Welcome action. Aboard, one, of the most yep. in the world. one of the most famous ferries in the world. In the world. In the world. Forget New York. <laughs> so we have just been learning about the three graces. So can you remember that? This one on the right? Yeah, the one on the right here. Um, was a rejected design in 1908 for the Anglican Cathedral. Rejected so you design. imagine you someone, it, someone the all, these, all, yeah, all these architects put in here, oh, what do you think of this, what do you think of this? And someone goes, nah, that's no good. No, not, so, don't fancy that. So, so the middle one up. based on an Italian palace. Palace, that's right. And then the Liver building, of course. Well, the most famous, but I don't think it's the nicest. I think the one on the right is the nicest, is on a Chicago skyline. Yeah, and then you've got the liver beds on, on top. top. 
And they, the, they were originally eagles, okay. mistaken for a... Uh, uh, the guy mistook them for cormorants yeah. and came up with like his own design. His own sort of thing, so they yeah. are very unique, <laughs> they've never mated, so there's only two of them. Um, and That's apparently it. the one in front here faces out to sea to check the sailors and the boats are all safe. Yeah. And the other one faces it's inland. The male, the, the female the male. faces the river, yeah. the male. male faces inland to check if the pubs are open. Yeah. There you go. A history lesson in one. There you go. <laughs> Sorted. But yeah, do let us know in the comments which is your favourite of the three graces. I, I can't get over that being a rejected. 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 It, you can see it's quite cathedralish, can't you, at the top? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're docking. We are done. That was a lovely little ride, that. 50 odd minutes. Fab. Loved it. Absolutely perfect. loved it. We picked well the perfect recommend. day for it as well. Met a lovely subscriber as well, came over and had a chat with us. Would you believe we of met all places to uh, meet people yeah, on the Mersey Ferry. Amazing. <laughs> absolutely amazing. We met a subscriber. The reach of the channel is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so if you're new, make sure you do subscribe. It's completely free. Do please hit the thumbs up so far. We're going to go and grab a little coffee in a minute, I think. I've got to. A little, or I mean, a hot chocolate or something. Now, no, no, I'm quite warm. Yeah, it's just a bit of a wind chill was making my hands cold. But absolutely. other than that, pretty spot on. Well, that was brilliant. Just got off. And look at the queue now for the picture. I'm glad we got our selfie earlier, Dad. Look at that. Big queue. I'm, I'm still, still, and the chin has hit the floor. <laughs> I just, that, that is a, it's, now they've said it, it could be a cathedral, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now you've just heard the, the story, fact, yeah. Just, nah, no, no, not, not, not that. good enough, that. Not good enough, that. Imagine trying to build that in this day yeah. and age. There's a bit of music on. This crazy scooter <laughs> has just got off the uh, ferry, but to be fair, it's raising money for the kids' hospital, so I don't mind now. But yeah, it's a bit, a bit funky, right? We're going in the, the Fab Four Cafe then. Well, where else would you go? Well, should be the Fab Six now, us two are coming. We've just met a subscriber. Here we have. On the ferry. The I lovely lady. Lovely lady, oh. right? Let's get a little coffee and a cake, maybe. Okay, here's our little setup then. I've got a tea, coffee, we've got a couple of little Tinux key cake, tea cakes. Comes with a little Fab Four chocolate. And then we just bought these. I bought this for the bar to go on top, but we're gonna make, maybe have a Love Me Do cocktail. And that could be the direct, direct uh, decoration for the top of the cocktail. And Dad's bought himself a Paul McCartney one because he wants to put it on top of the tiramisu. So we'll test that out later, will be Dad. I got your milk. What are you doing? I've got some more chocolates. Oh, you got more chocolates. The girl just said take them. Oh, right. well, there you go. There you go. Plenty of uh, <laughs> Fab Four chocolates. No, oh, nice. Did you get me a sweetener? I carried them all over. I didn't get a sweetener, Dad. Oh, you know I've I mean. just carried all this over. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me laughing me head off. I've just, just spilt my tea everywhere. He's up and down. Up and down. <laughs> He's been up and down just, about five yeah, times. He's been up and down about five times. Like a, oh, you can oh. you keep going up and getting more, ch more chocolates. How many have you got? I'm going to give them out as little gifts. How many have you got? Imagine them in your bar. <laughs> <laughs> you can't nice. take you anywhere. No, 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 no. No, no, there's going to be no chocolates for anyone else who gets off and has a coffee. Have you tried one? Yeah, they're nice. Milk chocolate. Lovely. Chocolate. Try one of the 20 million you've just got. <laughs> well, you know, when I ask, could I have a couple more? And she goes, oh, yes, of course she can. That's inviting the trouble, isn't yeah. it? No, she's a, they're all lovely staff in here. Lovely staff. Okay. And they, uh, they did say we could take some more chocolates. Nice, aren't they? Just nice milk chocolates. Oh, they yeah, are nice. Mm -mm. Are they fab? They're fab. Yeah. <laughs> the fab, the fab twenty that you've got over there. How many of you have? One. And one. And my tea cake. Oh, they're lovely, them. Oh, oh go on, Nick. Go and get another twenty more then. Wait till she's turning it back. You're lethal. <laughs> mm. Just to confirm, we did actually get permission to have more chocolates. Mm. 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 We're going to leave them a little tip. You all right there. Mm. That's not a pretty sight. Now you're talking about insulin spikes. Oh, yeah, you're on one now, aren't you? <laughs> You'll be buzzing. Talking about a dopamine hit. Mm. You alright? Mm. I just want to say, back in Starbucks, my point about this and where it belongs, here, They've got wooden spoons and forks, 
which is great. Look, if that was a spoon, why not a spoon? Wooden, environmentally friendly. There you go. Anyway, better than wooden, because you don't get even one of them in Starbucks. No. Ah. Cheers, everyone. Just got a, a wee bit of marshmallow around your mouth, <laughs> just a wee bit. <laughs> Wait till I show you what you look like. Don't. <laughs> oh, you look lethal, you are. I'm trying to do a serious bit of the vlog there, making a point about the environment and wooden spoons. Yeah, and now I've ruined it with marshmallow. Yeah, wait till I show you back what you look like. <laughs> Don't show mum. <laughs> Well, a cup of tea was lovely, some nice chocolates, great service in there as well. Recommend popping into there, good value as well. So just walking along now towards Liverpool 1, past the Albert Docks. Dad's going to sit and have a little chill in John Lewis. I'm going to have a quick mooch around some of the shops I want to pop into while we're down here. Since it's such a nice day, you've got nowhere to be. Absolutely nowhere. You can chill out, relax. I enjoy my third refreshment. Third refreshments of the day. You could go for a juice or something in here if you yeah, wanted. Fancy a yeah, something other than a, yeah, a tea or a coffee. Yeah. See what John Lewis has to offer. Of course, Dean won't be there, will he? No, Dean's not in today. He's day off today. But yeah, we're going to head into there, cut through here. Yeah, this is what I mean. Everything's sold. Just walking distance. Anywhere you want to go. Liverpool Lunar Year, ninth to the 11th of Feb. That's coming up something on for that great massive celebration to the Chinese community yeah it's massive of which there's quite a big community in Liverpool yeah we have got Chinatown as well here and everything so they, they go pretty big on all that there's the gym I used to be a member of the gym group used to go on that third floor you get lovely views of the uh, the Albert Dock while you work out it's the one I used to be a oh, member of I remember your, your, your biggest workout was putting your 50 pence in the machine and getting a drink out yeah that was it well it wasn't a drink capsule it was a mars bar after the workout that was it <laughs> this is a new place since i was here last time byron proper burgers you can have a smash burger and fries for seven quid fifty it's not bad is it vegan burgers milkshakes have to give that a go one day yeah that's new if anyone's tried it let me know so John, uh, John, John, <laughs> Dad's heading into John Lewis, John Lewis. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to head to JD in a couple of other spots. Right, well, I'm, 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 I'm going to be about an hour max. I'm not going to be okay, too long. That's fine. I'll go. I've got an email to write. So if you just if you uh, just chill in the cafe, I'll come and get you the from cafe, the cafe. So you don't yeah. Get a smoothie. Yeah. I just generally, yeah. Oh, you are lucky. He's back. He's following you around. The old, oh, uh, the old uh, disco uh, scooter. Around, yeah. Well, I've just enjoyed a little hour rushing about, doing a little bit of uh, shopping that I needed to do. I just bought a couple of thin t-shirts, I'll show you when I get back, and uh, replaced a little jumper that I ripped in work uh, the other day. However, I've just been very, very lucky. I popped in the swatch shop. I was wearing one of my moon swatches, and I did speak to the lady, and uh, very lucky to have uh, one of these Neptunes got delivered. Uh, let me reveal it. About an hour ago. So I've been very, very lucky there. They. Uh, Sold it to me, that's the one that you're really, really hard to find. So I'm pretty much complete now with the moon swatches. That's the last one I wanted. So yep, Neptune in the bag, I made up, that's made my day. But for now, we are heading back into John Lewis. Let's go and find Dad in the cafe. And then we'll take him home. I've only been about an hour or so, so not too bad. Helps if you go to a door that opens. There we go. You all right there? You all right there? <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't that long. <laughs> you alright there? From what? I had a cup of tea. What have you eaten? Tea and you got the hang hand cooked chili, chips. sweet chili crisps. And then I was doing an email without my glasses and I got a headache. Right. And then I just, just toast off. I was looking around, I thought, I won't, I won't miss him, he'll be sat up looking for me. No, I, was, I could, have, could have shopped for even longer. Look, I picked Left you it up. to me. No excuse, I picked you on midnight, went to bed at one o'clock after a kitchen inspection. Right. And you had me up at nine o'clock this morning. Oh no, I was up at seven o'clock to help me get ready. Right. And you were out at nine o'clock. Starbucks, I'm shattered. I shattered. Miles. 
walked miles. I'm a bit Tom Dick. What, after the ferry? After the ferry, yeah. Struggling a wee bit? A little bit, you know, queasy. Well, you've been scoffing more food, <laughs> haven't you? What's that? Buttered bread. You have super something, did you? Fast, not 24. You haven't 16. done 16 hours. I did six yesterday till 10 this morning. Right. I know I'm allowed 10 till 6 to eat. Oh, yeah, I had a little bit of egg on that. Right. Yeah. Oh, I had a bacon bat. Oh, yeah, you've been splurging a bit in the straw and the Starbucks and the chocolates in the cafe. Only one. You know, just a waffer, just a waffer thin yeah, chocolate. I've got a pocket full though. There's another, there's another spike. <laughs> oh, God. Right, right, well, chop, chop, I'm all done right, with the old shop. We've got to the car now, haven't we? Yeah. You can sleep on the way home, can't you? Since I'm driving. Right, you're on. You're on. That'll do for me. Have you, you, you've paid already, haven't you? Paid already, yeah. Sorted, you right. Sweet chilli chips. No, I don't. What made you pick them? They had no other flavour, John Lewis. No other flavour than sweet chilli. Oh no, not well, for me that. I don't do crisps. If you think you're eating them in the car, you got another thing coming and all. I'll, I'll, I'll kick you out. Dean is a crisp. Dean. Dean will eat them, not in front Dean of me. I don't do crisps. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to a few hours later. We are now outside a new restaurant here in Magul, which is called For Sato. For Soto. For Sato. Bar and Grill. They do all sort of uh, different uh, chicken skewers and stuff. Looking forward to this, it looks lovely. Something nice and new from a goal, something different. Bar and grill. Looks a bit bougie inside. I like the neon writing, so we'll head on in in the warm. And uh, show you this. This is right in the middle of, uh, it's in the middle of Magol, if you know Magol. Okay. It's uh, pretty new, yeah, it's nice. Looks really good. Yeah, it's stunning, isn't it? It is nice. Very nice. So let's hope. Well, let's hope the food's, the food's as good as it looks. Uh, I think it will be. It's got a really good reputation in the McGull group already stride. on Facebook. Right, stride on in. Okay, so we're in here. Here's the menu then. Got all kinds of different nibbles. I do like myself some prawn crackers. Uh, for mains, I'm liking the satay. Oh, okay, this is starters. I might actually have a satay chicken breast as a starter. Little skewer, different loaded fries, and then if I turn it over, oh, okay, so that's it then, isn't it? Starts, isn't it? Oh, okay, I've got no second page. Oh, I have, I have, sorry, <laughs> stuck together. So here's your mains, ooh, teriyaki chicken, Thai red curry, I'd have that. I like chicken katsu, yeah. There's a few options there. Got lamb shoulder there, Dad. Really? Katsu curry sauce, ooh, so we've got some options, don't know what to go for. Got uh, steaks there as well. So Dad's here in his nice bright shirt. Dean's joined us as well. Smarting yourself up after our little cruise this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> we had that. a cruise. Hey, it was good. We went to see the Fourth Grace. Catherine's with Follow us as well. Head. Fourth Grace. The new stadium. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Fourth Grace. Yeah. <laughs> it's already been branded the, the Fourth the Grace. I'm going to the only stadium in the. Oh, we saw tomorrow. that monstrosity from the river, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, you did, you oh, could it see it. Awful. Everyone was going, what's that over there? Looks like a big old uh, set. It, it was your new stand. <laughs> it's boss. Glaring at us. Boss. Like Are <laughs> we there tomorrow? Liverpool versus Chelsea? Well, good luck with that. Right, what are you going for food-wise? That's the question. What are you fancying, Dean? I'm looking at the teriyaki chicken noodles. Ooh, Ooh, no okay. noodles. I've got to say, I do like the menu. It's very suited to me, I'll say. I think this would be it, yeah. This would be it. I'd have a bit, probably, I'd have one more curry on there with like some naan bread, but that would be pretty, this would be pretty it, yeah. I've got the cauliflower bites, I like them. Oh, there's some good options. Okay, Dad, so you've got a tiger beer there. Well, aye, aye, tiger. I, I, the last time I had a pint of tiger on draft right. was in Matu. Okay. And then last time I went to Matu, oh, they took it out on draft and you could only get bottles. So, right. really, uh, really nice. And Dean has gone for what you say is the in beer in Mag yeah. Is it in? Is that just in Merseyside no, or is this just. The, it's it's Cruise um, Campo yeah, is Cruise now Campo, like the new yeah. Madri, is it? It's got a nice Madri's glass as well, hasn't it? Now. Madri's out, Cruz Campo's in, I'll keep an eye on that, I'll see if we can get that in Tenerife. Should do, it's Spanish. Uh, Madri's actually not Spanish. But no, Sevilla is though. It's nice though. It's got Sevilla on the side. 
So we'll see if we can get that. This, a cruise this, campo. This is from um, China. Was it Japan? No, Tiger. Singapore. Asia. Brewed in Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> brewed under license well, in Nottingham. The Corona that you drink on draft in Tenerife is, is brewed in Tenerife. Oh, really? A lot of, a lot of oh, the right. places will just get the recipe. And then they just, and then they just yeah, make it themselves. I do. I do like the glass. Yeah. Can you see the, the giant, nice. uh, or the rather the tiger? Yeah, you get some nice glasses. I do like that Cruz Campo one's nice. Very nice. Um, me and Catherine are just on the on the John Smiths. Good pint of John Smiths, that isn't it? Love a good John Smiths. What a shame. <laughs> Diet Coke. Okay, so here's the food. Here's my chicken uh, satay skewers. I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Dad's prawns looking good there. Looking lovely. I like the little touch of lime. Bit of prawn crackers going on. They look a bit different. Looking forward to trying them. I'm going to say, they don't look like... Uh, yeah, it Chinese looks a little bit different, but nice. Crackers. Nice hot plate as well. Well, they were amazing. Probably some of the best satay chicken skewers I've ever had. Best tempo. The spice prawns. was amazing. And, uh, you know, I don't... Sometimes you go on a vlog and you go, oh, what? But seriously... But they were good. Well, yeah, you've just given compliments to the chef. They were they were really good. Did you enjoy the prawn? Some crackers were like different. But they were different. Nice. Yeah. And we said it was better being different in a restaurant than the same old prawn crackers so you get in there. Like, the back yeah. really they weren't like chippy like, ones, were they? Can I just point something out that's really big for me in here? The background music. Yeah, it's chilled. It's, it's background. Not, yeah, it is background, not not foreground. That's very much. How yeah. music should be. Low light. Yeah, yeah. It is nice, and you can like jazz it up or tone it down. Satay skewers, Catherine. Very nice, very very nice. Yeah, a bit of a kick it to it. It's like a like a um, yogurty mayo type sauce. And you with just a, mix them, with yeah. The satay sauce. And then bits of nuts on. You mix it up. No, it was nice. Enjoyed that. So I think we're, it's, it's could be, we could be on to a winner. Well, but if the mains is that good, so here's the dilemma I've got. If the mains is that good then you can't leave the restaurant without trying a dessert from the dessert menu. <laughs> so now, Andrew I've got a homemade tiramisu at home, I'm, I'm aware of that, but you can't, maybe you can have both. Wait till mum sees. I can't believe, can I just say, I went to work Monday morning, came, where did I go after work? I was in town after work yesterday, so I didn't come home until about six. Right. And in the time of me going, admittedly I was in work at 7am, and didn't get home until six, but in, What's that? 11 hours? Yeah. Come home, Dean goes, Andrew's home tonight. <laughs> I go into mum and dad and I go, is Dean going to be like, or is Andrew home tonight? No, he's home tonight. There's two tiramisu's in the fridge. And I'm, how does she pull off you in prompto going, I'm coming home, tiramisu is made. Yep. I literally booked it at 8pm and flew the following day at 5pm, 7pm. Your bedroom is all done up like a guest hotel with your shower gel and your toothbrush all laid out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Mum's no listen, best, you know what I mean? Then only did she make a tin of a soup for you, she took one to Sarah. Sarah. So you must you must just not show mum enough appreciation for the tiramisu, you know. The thing is, I'm not a bit, I'm not a massive tiramisu fan. Ah, same thing, you go. I have said though, I want to try for next week to make up for <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she'll it. make it for you. I'm sure there's a few Sunday roasts get made going your way. Yeah, there is, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm just, yeah, it's, sure. I was amazed by the turnaround. The turnaround, you know, she's rapid though. When you tell mum something, she's on it. Well, Sarah's, like a car got a, bonnet. Sarah's got a ploy for getting a cup breakfast off oh, dad. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, a ploy for yeah, getting yeah, tiramisu. Yeah, yeah. Sarah's ploy is to text dad and say, Jude fancies some of your bacon yeah, tomorrow yeah. morning and he says he'll be there at 10. <laughs> That's it. She did. She, Jude, Jude, Jude says, can he have some of Garvey's, <laughs> Garvey's bacon sandwiches for his breakfast in the morning? I think she said granddad, not Garvey. <laughs> not Garvey, granddad. <laughs> I don't do that to do, please don't let him start calling me Garvey. Don't do He's, it. When he grows up he will start picking up on it from the vlogs though, won't he? But it did Sarah did she did pull that ploy. And of course I go, oh bring bring him up tomorrow, can't wait to see him. He had all of one bite of Sarah's toast. Why uh, like Sarah's like that, four bacon sandwiches. <laughs> 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 Honestly, there's ways of getting round things, isn't there? I didn't, I didn't even text mum. Didn't even text her. 
Text Dad. Text Dad and just quickly said I'm coming back. And that was it. No, you, Dad you passed on me the message in a month. Saying, can I go to the match Tuesday? And I made a toss it with myself saying to people, oh, can I get tickets for the match that now doesn't exist because they're a fallen. <laughs> I thought we were at home to spares. Oh, that's why you were coming home then? <laughs> no, well, no, no, it's always, I was looking at it and then it didn't matter anyway. There was no game because then I booked afterwards anyway. Yeah, funny. Oh, well, bring on the mains. I'm looking forward to this. You could have gone and watched the Chelsea game. I'm alright, thanks. <laughs> I'm alright, thanks. I'll, I'll pass. Sure. I'll pass. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what, see what Chelsea turns up first. Sterling back to haunt you. They didn't expect it against you, did they? No. Ste I, I, Sterling I, I, back I'll to haunt you. you. If Everton can beat Chelsea, anyone can well, beat Chelsea. Well, I'm going to tell you, if the Chelsea turned up, the turn up the Goodison when we went to the game oh. in that great seat we had, which yeah, was really good. good fun. You were going to batter them. I tell you, they were not up for it like where they, Andrew. No, no, and I think no. they'll walk on tomorrow night. The way the atmosphere is over clock, it'll just go. It's still yeah. not to talk about it. For goodness sake, wow. did you get your commemorative poster? Hey, no, but as you feel like it's I'm got, going through a breakup, it's almost like in Liverpool, bigger pictures of Klopp than our Lord, you know what I mean? Well, the good news is we've um, we've made it very clear that you can't have Sean Dyche, all right? <laughs> oh, really? So there was a few oh. rumours, but we've made it clear today it you're not, not you're sale. not getting Dyche, oh. no. But, but please, no. just See, remember everybody. It goes from bad to worse. Klopp's leaving, and we can't have No, I think you're getting. No, but no. I tell you, I tell you, he's available. He was, he could be quite a good option. Stevie Gerrard. No, no, he's, he's can more. Any, he's any, more experienced can than any that. Any Liverpool fans, please just show some sympathy for me. Living with. He's more. No, he's, he's available. <laughs> full of experience. Premier League. Manage various Wayne different Rooney. teams. No. No, 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 better than that. Sam Allardyce. Sam, big Sam. So he was on the phone this yeah. morning. He'd have his earpiece on. <laughs> He'll have little Sammy Lee next the, to him. The cop singing away, yeah, yeah. Sammy Lee will be back. <laughs> just like he was under Hodgson. Uh, Some available at the end of the season as well. Uh, Roy Hodgson. Oh yeah, well, oh, you could have Roy. Big Roy back. <laughs> big so, Roy back so in the old... Say old Roy. He might bring back Andy Carroll and all them... Ricky yeah, all those quality oh, players you had. Thirty-five million for Andy Carroll. Yeah, Andy Carroll. Yeah. That don't remind me. Who was he? he? Had playing up front with Andy Carroll. There was someone else, wasn't it? Yeah, he was dreadful. Wasn't storage? He? Was, no, was it storage? And then when we got no. Oh, well, you could even get to storage bring back Jay Spearing as well. Another quality little well, midfielder. <laughs> well, can I just remind you know everybody who's watching? Who just remember that the clocks go back. It was in the summer. Okay, the clocks go back after the summer. Right. <laughs> it was it was Suarez. You signed Suarez and Andy Carroll in the same window, I think. And storage. Sure, it was. Oh, yeah, I tell you that other player you had that drove, I used to dis dislike him for some reason. Uh, yeah. Downing. Oh, Stuart Downing. Stuart Downing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuart Downing. He was. He had like no end product at all. I wonder if Torres had come back and managed us. Oh, I've never got over my love of Torres. He's, he's massive now. Yeah. It's like and a, like a bodybuilder, yeah. He's oh, massive. Well, if you know what, it's, uh, it's the job to be had, isn't it? And Andrew told me something interesting today. But he, is he interested? Uh, no, no, you know Netflix do the background in these clubs. Yeah, there's one getting done with No, no. There is no, not a clock. Clock, clock, clock was, was not having it at all. And the American owners weren't happy. They wanted to have the background of what mm. goes on. Klopp wouldn't like, have it, no but now they've already agreed a deal for next season yeah. where Klopp's not there. I've heard that they're doing one of his last six months, the hunt for the successor, and hopefully ending it with... Sam Allardyce. I reckon Big Sam <laughs> with the experience. Steve, Steve, They're Robert hoping Palmer. to end it with him lifting the trophy. Imagine the end of the oh, documentary, yeah. Klopp. With no. the Premier League Sam, and the FA Cup. Big Sam Carling. unveiled Gerard as assistant. Do you are holding the phone there? We should be in a podcast with those mics in front of us, shouldn't we? Well, like well, we should be in a podcast like talk but, but can I just say that I heard on Sunday that tickets for the 19th of May, Liverpool versus Wolves, Klopp's last game, 25k to sit in the main stand. 25k. Now, that's at the moment. If that game becomes the game that Liverpool won the Premier League, heaven forbid, 
Evan for me. But if it happened, well, could you imagine? People are paying like 50 grand. And we were sat with someone in the club having a drink that we see regularly. Big Liverpool fan. He can't go to that game. I'm like quitting. What you would you, no, but even if you could go the game, would you take the 25 grand? Oh, sorry. Watch, yeah. watch it on Sky Sports. They make it really hard now oh, to do that. Yeah, he said that. He said to me they make it so hard to transfer the tickets. Touch, 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 yeah. touch, touch, touch. But his seat, wait for this, he's in, you don't understand this, he's in Roel behind Klopp. He's in Roel behind Klopp and he can't go. Tell him, tell him I'm here. <laughs> Lydia said that. She said, tell him, tell him, tell him. I said, you can't just say. Yes, she can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, last game of the season, you should be at Goodison watching Sean Dice. Yes, watching us stay up again. <laughs> <laughs> like invade the pitch and everything. Do you know what? One thing that will always stick out of half the most two years in a row. I remember the day before Dean and I flew to California, we were at a concert. He wouldn't look up from his phone in the echo oh, the script. watching the score. We were watching the script and Ella Air or it was Crystal Palace. someone like that. And he wouldn't look up from his phone and I'm there singing along and he's just like this watching the score. Then the relief on his face when they, when they won and they were staying up. And then the next morning we were getting the first train out of Lime Street and I just want to imagine what they were call us like um, at dawn the day after Evan stayed up. <laughs> <laughs> there was someone on the steps of Lime Street with his pants round his bum asleep. <laughs> and what was Dean like? Still loving it? I was on the high, me, honestly. I, I would imagine it was like the night you won the Covid Cup in front of the Liver Buildings. Hey, <laughs> when they won the Covid Cup with the empty stadiums. Oh, yeah. God, <laughs> right. Oh, right, I'm having a podcast with the mics down for the four of us in here. Right, <laughs> hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up, join the podcast. Three blues and a red. Yeah, that's it, three blues and a red. Everything's three, Liverpool one. Yeah. <laughs> We did actually go to a, a derby game once on, the, on, on an invite from people that we knew. And Catherine came with us. Uh, it, was a, it was a corporate invite and everything. And they had a quiz in the lounge before the game. And we called ourselves our team. Two reds, one blue. Two reds, one blue. And we won the quiz, didn't we? <laughs> we won the quiz. And then another time, went to a derby game at Goodison. And Catherine thought she could wear a red shirt in the lounge. Nah, that was never a good idea. That was never a good idea. You got told off for that. So, so, so I'm ready for these mains. I can think I can see it being plated oh, up over there in the kitchen. That's oh, looking good. So. I'm going, to, I'm going to tune out all this segment. This segment's 12 oh, minutes long. Oh, oh, yes, if you're so long, long <laughs> Download on Spotify and all that. Talk sport with tonight's Talk driver. sport. <laughs>Okay, here we go then. So I've got my chicken katsu curry. Catherine's got the same. Dean, what have you gone for? Chicken takaki noodle. They look nice then. And uh, Dad? Pan fried sea bass. Nice. We've got yeah, some more exactly. stuff here. Yeah. We've got salt and pepper chicks there. Chick oh, chips there. Can see yeah, Dean, show them for the camera eats first. Let me see them. <laughs> Can I see a lot of chips? Oh, they're not on good there. then. My dad's just got some regular ones. Mm. Oh, lovely, mm. lovely chips. <laughs> well, that was amazing. That was, uh, sea bass. I think that was better than Wagamama's. In, in a spicy sauce. You don't yeah. really go with fish in a spicy sauce, but it was absolutely fab. My mouth's tingling. It's not like through the roof. Yeah. I'm up with the fries, like. Stunning, they've all gone. Everything has all gone. Everything was eaten. That was your noodles, Dean. Nice. Tell you, I think not too, like, strong. Not too much. Yeah. chip had a bit of a kick, but not overly. No, they just it's tasted nice. Just tasted, just tasted nice. Yeah. I can feel it now, like, yeah. Just taste the pepper, it was lovely. We know the dessert. Nice flavour. So we've asked for a dessert menu. I'd just like to see what's on there. Of course. Because. And we won't mention that Mum's put a tin, I'm assuming, the fridge for me. Yeah. I know, I just want to see what there is because that starts as mains were absolutely stunning. So the dessert could be just as good, you know. We discovered a little secret hidden gem here in McGull. It's almost like a speakeasy <laughs> in the door, though. I know that yeah, from that oh, yeah. size it looks 
Yeah, we came in that door. We both came in that door, but that one's on as well. From that side of the road, you wouldn't even know it's here. It is. I, I can't remember the only other restaurant I've ever eaten in in Magul in 30 odd years is the Silver Star. Oh no, Lalkila! <laughs> Silver Star. Oh, I, I haven't yeah. eaten Lalkila, have you? No, this really? has been the Silver Star. Really nice. If you're in Magul area, entry, Liverpool. I would definitely recommend it. Food is lovely, absolutely spot on. Three. There you go. And there's free parking for two hours in this village. Yeah, free parking out there. So yeah, definitely worth it. I'll be back here again next trip. See you next month. Can we entertain Mum in here? Oof, tough question. Tough question. <laughs> tough question. I think she'd like the noodles and the satay yeah, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, I think you can slide that over my way. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got cinnamon sugar donuts. Ooh, a warm double chocolate cookie dough. Oh, yeah. Uh, chocolate orange. Oh, these look nice. Chocolate orange, you love chocolate orange. Look at sticky toffee pudding with honeycomb ice cream and butterscotch sauce. Different teas and coffees also, just so you know. Tonight's dessert special is a white chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> so there's three extremely tempting options there. There's the white chocolate cheesecake, there's the sticky toffee pudding, and there's a warm double chocolate chip cookie dough. And I've seen you order two desserts. I have seen hate. you order two desserts. <laughs> I can't do that tonight because we've already got one dessert at home, so this is already a second. You're on oh, your holidays. Cheshire Farm ice cream, proper ice cream, that. Cheshire Farm Sorbet. So you could have a lemon sorbet, Dad. Oh. Ah, see, look. And look, you can have a caramel latte. I'm, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. No, the team team training for the marathon. The famous, I'm getting off. You haven't got Ferrero Rocher? <laughs> Who are you kidding? I've seen them trays come down. Maybe another tray. Oh, he's got a hidden tray somewhere, Ferrero Rocher. You, you know what? It was his birthday. <laughs> I'm with my three best friends, Ferrero, Rocher and um, Twix. Twix. <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone knows what that quote is from, let me know. Do you know what it's from? Friends. No, a lot of you, some of you might have got it. If you got it, then I'm well done. I'm with me because I knew the end Oh, you know, you go, you know where it's from. Oh, she's a very famous character in a show oh, know, in a show that can't be shown anymore on TV. Oh, is it Little from Britain? Little Britain. Little Britain, Little Britain yeah. Oh no, she. <laughs> no, no it, it's not the Fat Fighters woman that does it though. It's the blonde, chavy one. She's got a job, and she, she gets a call on the phone. She's and she's, and, and the, she's working for one of those call lines and she yeah, gets a call yeah. and he's like, oh, what are you doing here with your friends? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm with the three best friends. Ferrero. Yeah, it's a uh, Twix. <laughs> if anyone got that, well done. You know right, what is it? Is, we going no, for, it's just yeah. brilliant that we can still talk about Little Britain, but you can't watch it. You know, it's just like... Do you know what, oh. Ian? I've been watching on YouTube. Not the mixtape version, the actual airline. Oh yeah, traditional, oh, yeah. traditional yeah. airlines on there, yeah. Yeah, there was, there was, yeah. yeah. There and you, you look at Manchester Airport, and you can see all like, the old, like yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. Oh, They're all smoking like, at the farm, yeah. she's like. But Dean and I were absolutely killing ourselves at this couple that rocked up 10 minutes before their flight took off to Malta, no, right? Or Palmer, something like Malta. that. Oh, Palmer. Palmer. And uh, 10 minutes before, and they're like, well, we've got a pub and we just had stuff to do, so now we're late. <laughs> and they're taking it out on the air, blind staff. And they sort of, imagine EasyJet doing this now, EasyJet this was, sorted them out with tickets to Malta instead, because they're like, oh, we're getting on a cruise, we can't miss this flight. We're catching a cruise in Parma. So imagine, they, they wangled the flights to Malta to pick up the cruise from there. Because that was the first port. <laughs> they get to Malta, and they're there with the video camera These waiting for the cruise coming in. <laughs> It's turned back round because of rough seas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that. Oh, I'm gonna have to find that episode. Very disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were talking about the holiday they had in Malta and saying, how bad it was. Well, there was just nothing to do. <laughs>
<laughs> Imagine that with my name. I've got a, I've got a big busy at me. Oh, oh, you wish your flight? Oh, well, look, don't worry, sir. We'll sort it out for we'll you. We'll sort it out for That's you. That's an extra 800 euro. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> out oh, of the change. Funny. This, honestly, and the moaning about the food on oh, a flight yeah, to New York. Oh, I've seen the episode where the man complains about his, he got his cup of tea, waited too long for his cup of tea. <laughs> I've paid for a service. <laughs> but, but the thing is as well, a lot of them are flying in their best attire. Yeah. Yeah. Suits and all the ladies. Because back in the day, flying was like, if you could fly, yeah, you, it was elite. Yeah. You know, yeah, you're yeah, one yeah, of the elite. Yeah, socks and sliders. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. If you wear anything more than a tracksuit, you work dressed. Can, can you imagine? Putting a flight from today with a stag party and a hen zoo in their flight. Right, it's when the meal service comes round and I saw one where it was like a special monarch flight oh, all the way to Orlando. Oh, oh monarch. Yeah. And you flew with Britannia? If they're on it, Britannia? Oh, when you were younger, yeah. yeah? Oh, absolutely. And there was um, oh, Air 2000. Remember them? Air Force. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Who Oh, what would we call Travel City Direct. Travel City Direct. They used to buy the old Virgin planes and they'd get on it, it'd be all like Virgin logo stuff everywhere. <laughs> like, we used to fly Sunshine Deck. Sunshine Upper Deck, yeah. 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 Oh, oh deserves. Tough, tough decision. Tough decision. Tough decision. Okay, so here are the desserts. We've got like a deconstructed cheesecake here, the winterberry cheesecake. Catherine's got the cookie dough with ice cream. I feel like And I've got my uh, white chocolate cheesecake, which looks simple and plain, but right up my street. We're gonna give it a whirl. Can we just chat, ask Dad, how much was the bill for everything? Oh, people are gonna wanna know how much it was paying. four of us, uh, three, three courses and- Dad's had a couple of brandies. Uh, so that adds beers, up to the bill. Beers yeah, and that. Else, uh, is $180. Okay, but then we've eaten every single thing, every, every single, single bite, thing. so in a lot of ways, in a well nice worth atmosphere, it. Nice yeah. light, nice background music, yeah. that is, has been my highlight. Nice that staff as well. Lovely. Nice staff, just lovely. And dare I say it, in this day and age, that's the price. Yeah, and we're literally two minutes from home as well. Absolutely. Home all night, and if I'm out with mum, all the way. However good it is. Okay, so we've now come to the Alt Park pub for a little bit of a nightcap. Dad's not been here. I've not been here for years and years. You've not been here for a long time. 30 years in Magull. <laughs> Never drank in the Alt. It's literally two minutes from your house. I know, but They've I got a garden out the back as well, you know, a garden terrace. Absolutely, shall we sit there? Oh yeah, it's lovely and warm, isn't it? We just stand back because no, you keep I coming into the camera. Something. What? The micro pub I was taking you to. Is non existent. It doesn't. There is a micro pub, I know there is. Well, you, you, oh, yeah, we're going to micro pub. On a mic it where is it? Tuesday. Where is it then? It's, it's on Liverpool Road South. Oh, I don't believe you. I've not seen any micro pub. Right, well, in we go. Stride on. This Old is Park. our little nightcap. We've had a wonderful day. I've got to say, brilliant day. Liverpool, sunshine, boats, coffees, teas. Mm. We've had it all. Good we? food, yeah. So, right, in you we go end then. It now. Only, I'll tell you what we do need. A oh. late goal from Everton. Oh, that'll be good, yeah. <laughs> I'd like that. Oh, good deal. Two meals for, for uh, 11.75. Right, so we're just chilling in the pub now, aren't we? And I'm sat right next to the radiator. It's heaven. Oh, this is nice, this. Proper British pub vibes, this. Have you noticed as well, your shirt matches the wallpaper a little bit in some ways there, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is just like a little bit of heaven. I've had a lovely day. I'm shattered. I was up at seven with mum, seeing them off to go to Jude's. You had me up at nine to go to Starbucks. Then we had a lovely day in Liverpool. I had a lovely meal out. This has been perfect. No, it's been and this good. is just... The end of a great day. Yeah. The only thing that might be it. Yeah. No, I don't know what it would. If I was in buddies, I think I'd rather be here by the radiator. Nah. <laughs>
I maybe do like, not. I do like my British pub vibes, yeah, yeah. to be fair, though. Well, I do for, like my British for, pub vibes. For you, it, it's, it's different, isn't it? You know? Yeah, it's like it's getting it's in and cosy and warm yeah. and you're next to Ray yeah. so It's a very different vibe, isn't it? P people can't believe you've come home today. Oh, yeah, they're like, what are you doing? Why are you leaving the heat? But... You know, the weather becomes a bit less of a novelty when you've done it for 10 Absolutely. years. Absolutely, and when you come home, you're like, here we go. It's dark when I wake up. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to go out. Oh, I need, where's my big, thick coat? Yeah, I've got to put my coat on, and it's a bit, yeah, the novelty, yeah. like, you know. And you have, you have gloves on and a hat on, we're on the river, and the sun's still shining. Yeah. Still the same sun. Oh, I tell you what, my face is cool, see? Yeah, yeah. Even the way the temperature was, I can feel my face is, uh... People go, oh, my, he lives in Tenerife, though. Yeah, yeah, you've got to get off the rock sometimes. You gotta get off the rock sometimes. It is. What do you call it? It's uh, small island syndrome. Small island syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happens everywhere in uh, small islands. And even if places. it's just the forty-eight hours away from it, yeah, it's away from it. Completely, completely different environments, different atmosphere. So we've done. also found we've actually found the restaurants. I keep. I've been suggesting coming to the on of like the last four trips. No, no. no. I, and I've never been in here. And then no. you judge it. You, you, you make a judgment and you've never been in. Yeah. I've always said, and they've got, I'll tell you what, we'll come back in the summer because they've got a lovely beer garden outside the back. Yeah. And then we find a restaurant at the square. Yeah. Two which, minutes away. The food was banging. Fab. Fab. So, yeah. it's been one of those days. It's up there. That, that uh, food in there slapped, yeah. as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that means? Go on, tell me. Just means it was good. Oh, Slap. <laughs> Is that on the same with banging? Yeah. Banging. Food slapped. I'm trying to think of some others. Oh, there must be. I don't know, these young ones have all kinds of words. But in the old days, we used to say, <laughs> I was boss. Boss that, yeah. Boss. Yeah, that's still, that's still Scouse, isn't it? That was boss. Oh, I was mint that. Mint. That mint. mint that's that. <laughs> Fit. Fit that. <laughs> Fit that, lads. We used to use fit more for if it was a woman. <laughs> she's fit. Yeah. But you can't say she's banging, can you? <laughs> hey. Depends. You couldn't say that, would you? No. You get, you get a strike. <laughs> can you oh, say okay. she slapped? Oh, no, she you can't slapped. say that. That, no, no. That's that's that's, 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 worse, that's what Trump would say. <laughs> you could say her outfit slapped. Yeah, her outfit slapped. But yeah, <laughs> you have to be so careful, so careful. But yes, is, is this is this our close to a great day? I think it is. Yeah. Well, I want to say, guys, enjoy this vlog because I've had a banging day. Oh, yeah, you getting there? Yeah, you getting there? You getting me? And from the minute I woke up. And so Lydia off. I've had a bag of <laughs> uh, And your ferry ride slapped. Absolutely, ferry ride slapped. You look like your face has been slapped. I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, and that little Beatles cafe. It was good. Yeah, hey, 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 got a question for you. Where's all them chocolates gone? Dude, there's 20 of them in the kitchen. Right, go down. Problem is... Dean and Catherine have gone before us. Ah, oh, they're going to be gone then. <laughs> they're going to be gone. I was saving a couple for mum. Right. Mm, well, that, they might last. Pretty. They might, if you're lucky. Guys, here's to a lovely day in Liverpool. Not there Tenerife. Go, not, not Tenerife. Do make sure you Jeez. subscribe. Yeah. Hit the thumbs Click up. the button. But uh, now... Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you if you are thinking of a trip to Liverpool, definitely do it. It's well worth it. Do all your research online. There's so much you can do. You can do music based, based stuff, museum stuff. You can just wander around. You can do shopping. You can do meals. You can do spa breaks. You can go down to Crosby Beach if you want a bit of a beach vibe. If you live in the middle of a city, you've got the beach right there. You've got Southport. You've got Formby where all the footballers live. You've got Formby Woods. It's just... Forever, isn't it? You know, loads and loads. So, so much, much more than people do. think. And if you want me and Andrew as tour guides, we don't charge too much. Not too much. <laughs> Hundred quid an hour. You will be led off the beaten track. But yeah, we, we can do we can do tour guides. No, if you are, there's, there's so many no, options. Seriously, so many options. I I've lived here for all my life, and I'm finding things. 
because of Andrew in the vlogging. I'm like, why have I not done this before? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's just amazing, isn't it? It's just amazing. There's loads. The one thing we still need to do on a vlog is go up to the panoramic as well. We need to go to the panoramic and we need to go up to the top of the live buildings. Yes, yeah. Do that little tour. We need, it, yeah, it, but yeah. I need a bit of warning you're coming home, yeah. you know, like, not like, Dad, I've booked a flight and I'm on it. For tomorrow. <laughs> In five minutes. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in leg room now and I'm flying. Can you be there in four and a half hours? A little bit more notice and we can do that. Um, oh, yeah, you panoramic, can, that is a good yeah. one. You can time it and go to a football game. If you're a neutral, go and watch one of the games. There's all kind, constantly all kinds going on. Always, always. And that lady today who took our picture at the statues, who said she was yeah. from where? Sheffield? Yeah. Not to think. mention as well, if you're a golfer, we've got Royal Birkdale, which is on the open circuit. We've got Royal Formby, Liverpool. Royal Liverpool, West Lanx. All there, all there. Yeah. I tell you, absolutely amazing place. Southport and Ainsdale. Yeah. So if you want to move here, I do a really good discount on houses and homes and bungalows. So if you just oh, speak nice. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Call Mick Garvey Call Mick. for all your property needs. <laughs> it is though, seriously, so much going on. You got to, I like the variation. So you've got like city, you've got beach, you've got rural, you've got woodland, you've got okay. such a variation. Last March, Elton John on the arena. Yeah, the arena, you've got yeah. stuff going on there. Yeah, we've got the Philharmonic, there's always something on. We, we, have the the dart, we have the darts often in Liverpool. Bet Do you, oh, the darts is, massive. Oh. Especially now Luke Littler's like set, set the whole darts world massive. on fire. When the darts are on, you can't believe how big that is. No. They can't even see the bloody dartboard. What is that all no. about? It's just, they're the just listening to the guy, aren't they? And then they go, hey! Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just like, yeah. Well, thank you to Liverpool Tourist Board for your support. You <laughs> We've, go, been yeah. We've been sponsored. We've been sponsored. I wish. I wish. I wish. <laughs> oh, there's so many different things to so definitely consider it, 100%. Have a weekend up here, you won't regret it. No, and, and I'll tell you what, the Airbnb prices and hotel prices and that, when you look at them, very, very reasonable. Especially when you compare it to going to London. London, Manchester, normally more expensive than Liverpool. There's some really good options in Liverpool now. But do check if Liverpool are at home. Yeah, you might pay a little bit more. You, you will pay home. more because the Norwegians all fly in. Yeah. So do the Irish. Yeah, and they stay overnight. So yeah. if you've got to come over home. a weekend, have a look if, if Liverpool are playing at home. We do get a lot of people fly over for that and different things. So time it well. But no, thank you all very much for watching. Do please hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as well. It's completely free. And I'll be back again tomorrow potentially. Uh, definitely filming my flight back to Tenerife as well from Liverpool airport so tune in for that one but yeah thank you very much hit the thumbs up and uh, stride on anything else ferry on stride on guys i've had the bestest of days did it slap love it it slapped <laughs> slap on <laughs>